uh, last game in Philadelphia, you guys had a poor shooting night uh, from three-point range. Joe only took two shots, didn't make either one. Uh, was there a concerted effort uh, to get back to your game at from three-point range and to get him involved in particular? You know, I think just typically, you know, Philly's a... a I think second best defense in the league and and it was a little tougher opponent um, especially shorthanded a little bit whereas tonight you know Charlotte you know they play really hard uh, they're a good defensive team but they do give up threes and so it's just a component of the game and you know I think Joe got a got a look got some rhythms but overall obviously we shot over 50 percent from three moved the ball pretty well um, and, and we're efficient offensively other than the turnovers. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. See, from that point, uh, maybe what midway through the first to midway in the second, where you kind of seized a little bit of control, that looked to be the only time you really got a handle on them defensively, being able to get stops. Uh, what was the key in that stretch for you? I thought the second unit was outstanding, just matching their intensity. I think they did it in the second half, too. I thought that that was also a place where we got a handle on them, you know, for a, for a period when the second unit was in there. So they just played really hard. They played together. They were active in both their stints. I think you look, you know, Blake, Landry, Nick, Bruce, it's plus 22, plus 25, plus 14, plus 24. So just outstanding effort from that group, matching their energy and uh, being physical and, and uh, making it difficult for them. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, we've talked about you guys being a bit thin in the backcourt because of injuries and having to get creative with, with ball handlers and playmaking. You had 37 assists on 47 field goals and I think four guys with five or more assists. Just what, what do you think of the playmaking by committee, especially given, you know, your roster situation? Great. I mean, um, you know, I think we got bogged down at times trying to isolate against a team that really loads up and, and kind of zones well uh, on isolations. Uh, we had 18 turnovers, which, you know, obviously we want to clean up, but uh, the, you know, the assist totals were great. And, uh, you know, for us to move the ball like that and create opportunities and to not think as much as just continually attack, 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 you know, I think that helped us out, especially in the second half where we kind of got going offensively. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, two two semi-related questions. One, Kevin, I believe, had 11 assists tonight. Uh, just what did you see from him from a playmaking standpoint? And two, uh, Kevin can just dribble up the floor and shoot over anybody, it seems like. So how do you balance that, his ability to do that whenever he wants to versus getting into the flow of the offense? Yeah, I mean, Kevin has the freedom to dribble up and shoot, and, he, and he's he's good at that. However, you know, I think you, you want to be on top of people's rim and on their paint and constantly put pressure on the defense let them make mistakes so it's not all home runs you know you know they foul you they miss a rotation they um you know they they make a mistake and it's a three or it's a layup or whatever it may be or they're in rotations you get on the glass you know that's you know that's a really efficient long-term sustainable kind of offensive theory in my my eyes but you know they loaded up really well on Kevin's isolations tonight and he delivered made some great passes uh you know I thought really brilliant in that he kept it simple a lot you know he had a few turnovers early but then he kept it simple and just made you know the correct read put it on the money and uh, that's a facet of his game that may be underappreciated Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com Hey Steve just looking at the three-pointers again with that comparison to the other night do you feel like defenses generally impact volume more than a percentage of the team shoots does the percentage kind of come back more to just make or miss on your guys part um there i would say generally that could be the truth but there are teams that give up threes but um but really fly at you and do a good job of holding your percentage down so i don't think that's like a, a black and white thing i think you know there is a gray area where some teams speed you up so it feels like you're getting a lot of threes but you're maybe rushing them or you feel under duress um so I think it, it depends on the team. It also depends on the night. And uh, But this is a team that the way they kind of get in the gaps and, and try to keep people out of the paint, uh, they do give up threes. They do get in closeouts, which can give up threes as well. So uh, just their style, you know, they are, I think, a 13th defensive team in the league, so they're a good defensive team. But um, but they do happen to give up threes, and we have three-point shooters. And it is.